وعنا وكتاب الورقات للإمام أبو معالي الجويني رحمه الله We are in أقسام الحكم التكليفي And we've done the first one which is الواجبات We've done الواجب Obligation We've defined what it is Today we're going to go on to the second and the third insha'Allah ta'ala We're going to move on to المندوب والمباح المندوب والمباح والمندوب الشيخ رحمه الله says والمندوب مندوب is ما يثاب the thing in which the person is rewarded على فعله doing it the person will be rewarded in doing it now as a side point the word ما ما the word ما in the Arabic language it is you it comes in the Arabic language the usage of the word ما in ten meanings five is it comes as an ism and another five it comes as a harf as a particle when it comes as an ism the five that it comes as an ism is when it when it is a istifhamiya or the second one which is which which is shartiya the third which is mawsula the fourth which is ta'ajubiya fifth which is nakiratun tamma that is when it's an ism harf is when it's harfu nafi uh, it's a harf which is nafi harfu kafa uh, harfu zaida harfu mazdariya and harfu dharfiya and those are the five those are the five when it's harf a poet he he brought it into lines of poetry he said mahamil ma ashr idha rumta addaha fahafiz ala bayt shahir taqarrara satafham sharat wasl fa'jab li nukriha بكف ونفي زيد بكف ونفي زيد ظرف ومزدرا. Those are the ten usage that the word ما is used. So we said that the word ما is موصولة. موصولة means connective, and that's what موصولة is when it's a ism, a noun. والمندوب ما يثاب على فعله. مندوب is that which if a person does, he will be rewarded for doing it. Remember. Imtithalan ah, Imtithalan That he comes with the intention ah, For sincerity And following the messenger Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In it Then he gets rewarded So that word Imtithalan Has to be added to it But We won't say like we said In the wajib Remember the wajib we said وَيَسْتَحِقُ Remember that's what we said وَيَسْتَحِقُ تَارِكُهُ الْعِقَابِ That's what we said right Here we don't have to add that to it Because The mandub If a person does leave it it does ولا يعاقب على تركه. We don't have to bring the word يستحقه. What does مندوب linguistically mean? That's the Sheikh again defining Abu Ali Al Joini. He's defining it here right now with what? We mentioned it. It is the definition that he's doing here. Is the definition which is تعريفه um, um, بالرسم. He's defining it by its outcome, its effect. But it's not تعريفه. Defining it, أما بيان الحقيقة والمهية. That's not what he's doing, and we spoke about that previously. So, what is مندوب? مندوب أولا is من اسم مفعول من الندب. It's an اسم مفعول that comes from the word ندب. It comes from the word ندب. What does ندب mean? What does the word ندب mean? ندب means الدعاء إلى الفعل. It is to be called for an action. It is to be called to an action. If a person calls you to an action, ta'al, ta'al, do this, akhi, do this, do this, it's ned. Lakin, uh, Safiyuddin al-Amidi, rahimahullah, and Imam al-Amidi, rahimahullah, he said, it's not just calling a person to an action. He said it is calling a person to an action which is important. He said, ad-du'a ila amrin muhim. The thing has to be important that you're calling the person to. That is ned. Ned means, ad-du'a ila amrin muhimmin. The Arab poet said, لا يسألون أخاهم حين يندبهم في النائبات على ما قال برهانا. The poet he said, and in his poetry is in the kitab by Li Abi Tamam in his kitab Al Hamasa. He said, لا يسألون أخاهم they do not ask their brother حين يندبهم when he calls them to a 
important matter. They don't ask him. They don't ask him, hey, why are you calling us? What's the problem? What's happened? Ha, they don't ask him. في النائبات in matters, great matters, when he calls them to it, على ما قال برهانا, they don't ask him evidence for what he claims. So if he calls them to a battle and a fight and an army that they were fighting with or something, ha, they don't ask him, yo, what happened first? Let's find out first. Is what you're saying the truth? No, they don't. They're loyal people, basically. If you cause them to a battle, they just go in. They don't ask anything. They fight. That's it. خلاص. So he says, لا يسألون أخاهم حين يندبهم. They don't ask their brother حين يندبهم. That's what we want from it. The use of that word. يندبهم means what? حين يدعوهم إلى أمر مهم. When he's calling them to an important matter. Or when he's calling them to a matter. في النائبات على ما قال برهانا. They don't ask you for برهان حجة. Proof. Where's the proof? What is it say? Huh? So the Arabs used to use that word as what? Addu'a'u Addu'a'u ilal fi'li Amma as-safiyu al-deen al-amidi said It means Addu'a'u ila amrin muhim Calling a person to a matter which is important That's what it means linguistically Technically what does it mean? And now the definition, the technical definition that we're given here now Is bayanu haqiqatu wa mahiyatu Haqiqatu wa mahiyah Wa mahiyatu we mentioned the haqiq and the mahiya of it. Here is bayan al-haqiqa wal mahiya. Pay attention. Which is what? Ma talab al-shari' fi'lahu talaban ghayra jazim. Ma talab al-shari' fi'lahu talaban ghayra jazim. It is what the shari'a, the kitab and the sunnah have requested for you to do but not in a forceful manner. Ah, that's the definition that should be defined with. As for the definition which says ma yuthabu ala fi'lihim tithalan وَلَا يُعَاقَبُ عَلَىٰ تَرْكِهِ That's the outcome. And the rasm. It is not the definition of the haqiq and the mahiya. And we spoke about that previously. Such as what? Siwak. To use the siwak is mandub. Mandub. It, the sharia, did it request for you to do it? Yes, it did request you for you to use the siwak. But did it request for you to do it in a forceful manner? No, it didn't request you. Such as what? أَتَّطَيِّبُ الْيَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ To clean yourself on a Friday. Ha. To clean yourself on a Friday. Uh, sorry, when I uh, clean, I, I don't mean have a bath. Bath is obligatory. Mm. We're talking about um, perfume and oil in yourself and having dun on and perfuming yourself. Ah. Well, rawatib, I'm praying the sunan. Rawatib sunan. It's all, all what? What is it all? Mandub. It's all mandub. So when we say, ma talab fi'lahu, what exits? When we say, ma talab fi'lahu, that which the sharia requests for you to do, what automatically leaves is the muharram. Does the sharia order you to do the haram? No. no. Makruh? No. Mubah? No. Three of them the sharia does not order you. So those, from the ahkam and taklifi, three are already out. The next part which is, talaban ghayra jazimin, a request which is not forceful, which one leaves? Al-wajib. Because the wajib was, you were, were you ordered to do the wajib? Yeah. Did sharia request for you to do it? Yeah. Ah. But he leaves at the last point of the qayt, which is what? That is called jami'un mana. You see? We made jami'un encompass the meaning of the word mandub. And also, what did he do? It also mana'a, it took out huh, the other four, ahkamu uh, taklifi, uh, which is the muharram, the makru, the mubah, and the, and the wajib. Very good. That's, what, that's a definition. Pay attention now. The mandub brothers, khadimun lil wajib. The mandub serves, caters for the wajib. The mandub it caters for the wajib. فَهُوَ دَافِعٌ قَوِيٌ عَلَى الْتِزَامِ It's a, 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 a very solid uh, wall that helps a person to be consistent upon the wajibat. What does that mean? If a person is doing the mandub, he is easy for him to stay on the wajibat. If a woman, مثلا, if we agree that uh, oh, sorry, sorry. If we say that the rawatib right now, which we just took, huh? the ratiba, the sunnah, which are the rawatib. Are you all with me? The rawatib, brothers, are the sunnah before fajr. The sunnahs, these are called rawatib. They're 12 rak'ah every day when you pray sunnahs. These sunnahs, if somebody's praying a ratiba and he's praying qiyamul layl, huh? would he miss the five daily prayers? They're a big, strong, they're a, a powerful fence for you, for person. You see? إِضَافَةً إِلَىٰ أَنَّهُ يَجْبُرُ النَّقْصَ فِيهَا And that's the first benefit. The second thing that it has for you as well is what? يَجْبُرُ بِمَعْنَىٰ It fills the gaps of the, in, the, the, the deficiencies that come in the wajibat that are present in you. 
the wajibat that you're doing, if there's deficiencies in them, what does it do? It completes those deficiencies for you. It does. كَمَا دَلَّتِ السُنَّةَ عَلَى ذلك. As the sunnah had showed this, like, as I mentioned, the hadith, أَوَّلُ مَا يُحَاسَبُ بِالْعَبْدُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ الصلاة. We took that. The first thing that the person will be accounted for the Day of Judgment is what? Salah. If he's good with the salah, if he's not, he's got some missing, what happens? The, play, the, 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 the things that are missing from the prayer that he didn't pray properly, what would the sunnahs do? They would complete it for you. Your prayers would be richer. So the person's sunan, sunan, the person's sunan, and the rawatib, and the mandubat, what he, what he does is for him, it completes for him the wajibat. يقول الإمام الشاطبي إمام الشاطبي رحمه الله سين إن كتاب الموافقات إمام الشاطبي is a great scholar of this field he said المندوب إذا اعتبرته he said the مندوب if you think about it you analyze it and you think about it اعتبارا أعم وجدته خادما للواجب if you really think about it very comprehensively and openly and widely and if you look at it, you realize that it serves the wajib. It is either an introduction for it. And we're going to see what he means by that. Or it is what? A reminder for it. Whether that reminder is what? Min jin sihi. So, what is the ratiba before something? The siwak. Before the salah is a prior, it's a muqaddima, introduction um, that goes before it. And it's also a reminder for it. Tidkarun. And what does that mean? That tidkar is either from that same thawajib that you're doing it for. It's either a Something that is a reminder for it, which is the same as it, or it's a tithkar, which is not the same as it. It's two different things. Such as, فَالَّذِي مِنْ جِنْسِهِ الْوَاجِبُ كَنَوَافِرُ الصَّلَاةِ مَعَ فَرَائِضِهَا Fajr is two rak'ah. There are two rak'ah which are before it as a reminder for you. Those two are mandubat that you're praying which are before it. Are they salah like the fajr is? So what is it? It's not salah? So it's a salah min jinsi from the same thing. Okay. Or it's not min jinsi. Waladi min ghayri jinsi kasiwak. Like the siwak. Wa ta'jil al iftar and hastening the iftar. Hastening the iftar is what? Is it the same as the iftar? It's the opposite to it. It's the eating. Or wa ta'khir al or delaying the suhur. So what the Sheikh is trying to say is. Anyone who safeguards the, uh, the sunan and the mandubat, anyone who does that, he will safeguard his wajibat. And anyone who shortens in the mandubat, then that person is open for his wajibat to be deducted. He's open for it. Because the attack now is directly at war, his wajib. If you place that wall between you and shaitan, Shaitan has to first put down the sunnah first for you. And once he succeeds in putting the sunnah down for you, what happens? Then he's going to go for the wajib. You're smart inshallah ta'ala. Once you see that the sunnah is going, you're going to be what? You're going to realize, okay, it's getting bad now. So you're going to go back on the sunnah. So the battle between you and shaitan is basically going to be, going, going to be on the what? The, the mandubat, which is good. It's very good. Um. Other names that the mandub has. Sunnatan, it's called sunnah. Wa mustahabban, and it's also called what? Mustahab. So, so sometimes the mandub, the mandub it's, these are synonyms, they are, mut, they are mutaradif. Sunnah and mandub is the same. Mustahab and mandub is the same, and sunnah. Tatawu' and sunnah and mustahab, all of the same. Wa naflan, all of them are the same. So if you hear the word mandub, sunnah, mustahab, tatawu' Nafl, all five of them are names that are the same. This is the view of the Jumhur of the Usuliyin. Khilaf al-Hanafiyya. The Hanaf are opposite. The Hanaf are opposite. Again, 
Because the wajib, remember, they were opposite. They said that the wajib and the fard are not the same. Yeah, so we, talk, we spoke about that, did we, did we not? Now, the Hanaf, they believe that the wajib and the fard are not the same. They say that the wajib and the fard, the difference between it is one is based upon ilm al and one is based upon ilm al uh, One is based on ilm al and one is based on ilm al yaqini خلافا للحنفية الذين جعلوا المندوبة مرادفا للنفل. They said that the ها huh? they made the mandub the synonym of what نفل نفل and mandub are synonyms. That's what they said. ولا كراهة عندهم في تركه and it, there's no dislike in leaving it. Leaving this the نافلة or the mandub to them is not disliked. وفرقوا بين السنة والنفل. And they said there's a difference between sunnah and nafl. فَجَعَلُوا أَعْلَى مِنْهُ الرُّتْبَةً They made it a bit higher than it. فَإِنْ كَانَتْ مُؤَكَّدَةً If it's highly emphasized on فَتَرْكُهَا مَكُونَ It is disliked to be left تَحْرِيمًا in a forceful, haram way. وَإِنْ كَانَتْ غَيْرَ مُؤَكَّدَةً If it's not highly emphasized on uh, then it becomes مَكْرُوهًا تَنْزِيهًا It becomes مَكْرُوه by تَنْزِيه now we're going to go into the third type, which is Al-Mubah. Al-Mubah. We're, we're on the third one, which is Ahkam Al-Taklif, Al-Mubah. So we finished Al-Mandub. We finished Al-Mandub. So Al-Mubah, um, what does it mean linguistically? Mubah linguistically means two meanings. Two, only two meanings. So the word Mubah linguistically revolves around two meanings. The first one is Al-Mu'lanu. Al-Mu'lanu means is to bring something out in the open. I'lan is to announce something. Announcing something. Ma'dhun means giving permission. Those are the two meanings that the word mubah revolves around linguistically. That's what you find that the poet said. La la, he said, La la, abuhu bi hubbi bathnata inaha akhadat alayya mawathiqa wa uhuda. It's a man who loved a woman got by the name of Bethna. He loved Bethna. So he said, La la, no no. Ah. La la, abuhu. Abu Hubbana, I'm not going to announce. Ha. Bihubbi Bethna, the love I have for Bethna, I'm not going to announce it. Innaha, verily she has. Akhadat aliyya mawathiqa wa uhuda. She took from me vows and oaths. She has taken from me uh, vows and oaths. So I'm not going to spread the love of <coughs> Bethna. So the word we want from here is Abu Hu. And it's the same thing as the rahimahullah, he said, the, the great Mu'tazili scholar. Um, he said the same thing because they said he used to hide his madhab what madhab he was upon he used to hide it right uh, he didn't want to tell the people which madhab he was upon was he a Hanafi was he a Maliki was he a Shafi'i was he a, was he a Hanbali they knew he was a Mu'tazili in his Aqidah but he never told what madhab he was upon in terms of his fiqh but they say that he was a Hanafi that's what, that's what people say but this is what he said he said, If they ask me about my madhab, I'm not going to announce it. If they ask me about my madhab, I'm not going to announce it. I'm going to hide it. Hiding it is for me safe. For me to hide it and not to tell anyone is better for me. If I say I'm a Hanafi, they will say, قالوا بأنني, They will say that I said, أُبِيُحُ الطِّلَى That I make permissible الطِّلَى وهو الشراب المحرم And it's khamar. And khamar is haram. So if I say I'm a Hanafi, they're going to say to me, he permits khamar. And that is what Hanafi Madhab believes. Which is, the Hanafi Madhab believe that if the uh, khamar is not made from uh, grapes, if it's made out of dates or barley, for them it's not khamar. It only becomes khamar when it's made out of what? Dates. That's what they said. So you can actually drink a beer. They, so they, for them, naam. So, and he said, if I say, فَإِنْ حَنَفِيًّا قُلْتُ قَالُوا بِأَنَّنِي If I say, I'm a Hanafi, they're going to then say to me, أبوح, uh, أُبِيحُ الطِّلَى I make permissible الطِّلَى وَهُوَ شَرَابُ الْمُحَرَّمُ هي. وَإِنْ مَالِكِيًّا قُلْتُ قَالُوا بِأَنَّنِي If I say, I'm a Maliki now. قَالُوا بِأَنَّنِي They will say, I, أُبِيحُ لهم, أُبيح لهم لحم الكلاب وهم وهم. They will say, I make permissible for them the dog, the meat of the dog. And they are it. Meaning the chef, the Maliki believe that the dog, the, 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 the impurity of the dog is not the skin outside. 
And they say that us cleaning ourselves from the dog is not because of impurity. They said it's because it's ta'abud. We're worshipping Allah and worshipping it. It's just a, a r- r- ritual that we're doing. It's a ritual faqat. It's nothing to do with impurity. That's what they said. So he said, if I say I'm a maliki, then they say I will make permissible eating the dog, the meat of the dog. Right, it's allowed to. That's what they're going to say, I say. Ah. He said, وَإِن شَافِعِيًا قُلْتُ قَالُوا بِأَنَّنِي If I say I'm a shafi'i, and I'm of the shafi'i madhab, قَالُوا they will say بِأَنَّنِي I أُبِيحُ النِّكَاحَ الْبِنْتِ وَالْبِنْتُ تَحْرُمُ That I make permissible of the marrying of your daughter. And marrying your daughter is haram. He's referring to that. It was ascribed to shafi'i. That if a man commits zina, and he has a child from that zina, that that child, he can marry him. The, the, the so-called ma- father can get married to that girl. Ha. Because it is not his daughter, shal'an, in the sharia, zina. And that child is not ascribed to the father. So, he said, if I say I'm a shafi'i, then they're going to say any, so he's trying to generalize it, that any man can marry what? Any man can marry his daughter, that's what they're going to say, I say. وَإِنْ شَافِعِيًّا قَالْتُ قَالُوا قَالُ بِأَنَّنِي أُبِيحُ النِّكَاحَ الْبِنْتِ وَالْبِنْتُ تَحْرُمُ وَإِنْ حَنْبَلِيًّا قُلْتُ قَالُوا بِأَنَّنِي But if I say I'm an حَنْبَلِي uh, The rest if you analyze he's talking about مسألة فقهية Look at that, فقه But when he comes to Imam Ahmad he comes to عقيدة issue Why? لِأَنَّ خُبْثُ عَقِيدَةِ His عقيدة is filthy His عقيدة to المعتزنة He's the عقيدة of the معتزنة So he criticizes Imam Ahmad on the basis of عقيدة وَإِنْ حَنْبَلِيًّا قُلْتُ قَالُوا بِأَنَّنِي If I say I'm a حَنْبَلِي قَالُوا They say ثَقِيلٌ حلو حُلُولِيٌ بَغِيضٌ مُجَسِّمٌ I'm a some say مُشَبِّهٌ حَلُولِيٌ بَغِيضٌ مُجَسِّمٌ They will say to me I am a uh, uh, astron, uh, What's it called? Astromotis uh, مُشَبِّه A person who makes Allah's creation the same as the creation but ha, مُجَسِّمٌ One who gives Allah a body Haluliyun, uh, one who believes Allah and His creations are entering each other. Ha, that's what they will say. I believe. Ha. So Ahmad ibn Hanbal, it was aqidah issue. He held him for, and the rest was. But the point here right now is the first part. He said, "Wa'iyas alu an madhabi lam abuhbi wa kitmanu ha wa aktumu wa kitmanu li aslamu." Ha. If they ask me about my madhab, lam abuhbi. I'm not going to tell them about it. Wa kitmanu concealing it here uh, is more better for me. Wa aktumu wa kitmanu li aslamu. Safe. I'm much more safe in that way.